All right. All right. Good morning. My name is Alan and Josh Burke. I'm Alan Bulda, and we are uh, clinical nurse educators for Kaiser Oakland Emergency Department, and we are going to get everybody all up to date on a foolproof, guaranteed way to pass this upcoming math test that um, that regional is going to be putting on. All right. Something. What I'm going to show you today is something called dimensional analysis, where if you follow this way, I pretty much guarantee you will ace this upcoming test. All right. So first of all, <coughs> let me show you. Um, let me show you how to do this. First of all, so here's our first question: Norepi four milligrams in D5W 250. Doctor orders two mics per two micrograms per minute. What we want to know is how many ml should you set the pump for? All right, very similar type of question you will be receiving on that test. And the way we start off all our all our questions, or how to set up all these questions, is we draw something called the magic line. Magic line. All right. Now, first thing you want to do is look at the last question. Look at what ultimately are they asking for? In this case, they are asking for mLs per hour. So at the end of this magic line, what you want to put is mLs per hour. All right. So every other piece of information that they're giving us right here is either going to fall above or below this, this line. All right. So in this case, we know for a fact that if anything up here has any piece of this information shows mLs, we know ML, that, that mLs has to be on the top of the line. If anywhere up here says hours, hours has to be on the bottom. So let's take a look at the question. Nor epi, 4 milligrams in D5W, 250 mLs. So we know for a fact we ultimately want mLs as our final answer on the top. So in this case, 250 mLs, first piece of information, is going to go on the top. We have 250 mLs, nor epi, 4 milligrams in 250 mLs. Nor epi <coughs> will go on the bottom. All right? Next piece of information, doctor orders two micrograms per minute. All right, so over here, let's go ahead and put two micrograms per minute. The next step is you, you want to go ahead and circle all the factors that you're going to need. In this case, all right, we need mLs. Let's find, oh, here we go. We have mLs right here. We also need hours. Well, we don't have hours here, but we know we're going to have to convert minutes into hours. So the next step is, let's go ahead and put hours down over here. One hour. In one hour, how many minutes do we have? We have 60 minutes. Great. Now, let's go ahead and circle hours. Those are the factors that we want to keep. MLs and hours. The rest, we got to get rid of somehow. So we can start right now by by um, uh, cross, uh, yeah, we, we want to go ahead and start eliminating some things right here. So what we can eliminate, anytime we eliminate something from the bottom, we have to cross cancel it with the top. All right, and this is a foolproof way where you know that you cannot cancel out two things that are on the same line, either on top or the bottom. If you cancel out something from the bottom, you know for the fact that you have to cancel out from the top and vice versa. So in this case, minutes is on the bottom is going to cancel out with minutes above the line. All right. Now, next, we also have micrograms and milligrams. We want to cancel those out. But since they are not the same right here, what we want to do here is micrograms is on the top. We have to know for a fact that micrograms has to be at the bottom in order to cancel it out. So we have 1,000 micrograms in one milligram. Great. Because now what we can do is cancel out milligrams on the bottom, we cross cancel it out with something from the top. Vice versa, milligrams on the bottom cancels out with milligrams on the top. So, in this case, now, do you, you have a calculator, Josh? No, just to instruct them. All right. So now in this case, all we're left with is the two factors that we circled and a whole bunch of numbers. A whole bunch of numbers. So, on your calculator, what you want to do, this is what you're going to input on your calculator. 250 times 2 times 60. Don't even press the equal sign. Just go ahead and press 250 times 2 times 60, if you want, times 1, divided by 
4 divided by 1,000. 7.5. Equals, oops, let's go ahead and put it here, equals 7.5 ml per hour. So we would set the pump for 7.5 ml an hour. Dimensional analysis. So basically we're crossing, we're cross-canceling out all the things that we don't need and circling the things that we do need. All right? Let's try again on another question. Okay? Always, always do the math here twice. Oh, vice versa. And on another thing that Josh mentioned, make sure we, we do it at least twice. We've got to make sure when we do this again, we have the exact same answer. Okay? Very foolproof. You know that you'll have the right or wrong answer <coughs> because if you put something on the wrong side of the equation, then it will totally mess up your, it'll mess up your, it'll mess up your answer. You have to know that if you cancel something out from the bottom, it has to be canceled out from the top and vice versa. Let's look at the next question. Dopamine, 400 milligrams in D5W, 250 ml, patient weight 65, and the order is 10 mics per kilogram per minute. We want to know how many ml should we set the pump for. So once again, the magic line. Let's go ahead and draw one line all the way across. Don't be stingy on your line. Draw a nice, fat, long line all the way across on the end of the, all the way from one end of the paper to the other. What do we want to know? We want to know how many ml per hour should we set the pump for. That's ultimately what we want. Great. Now let's start filling in some of the some of the factors that we have here. Dopamine is 400 milligrams and 250. So 250 ml. Well, we know 250 has to be on the top. 250 ml. Why? Because ml is on the top. Okay. Next piece of information. Patient weighs 65. Now, where does this go? Either on the top or the bottom. For right now, let's go ahead and skip that. Let's go to this, this piece of information. MD orders 10 micrograms per kilogram per minute. Now, the way we're going to write this is 10 micrograms per kilogram times minute. Great. Now, we still have that one piece of information here. Patient weighs 65 kilograms. Now, take a look at this. We know we're going to ultimately cancel out kilograms. Kilograms is down here at the bottom. We have to cancel that out. So we know that we have to cancel out kilograms somewhere on the top. So that's where we'll put 65 kilograms. All right? Now, as nurses, I'm sure you guys want something empty right here. So let's go ahead and put a happy face, a peace symbol. I don't care. Put anything. All right. So next step, let's circle the things that we already have. We already have mLs. And that's about it. We don't have hours. All right, so since we don't have hours, we have to convert minutes into hours. Let's go ahead and put one hour right here. Oops, one hour here at the bottom. All right, and in one hour, we have 60 minutes. Great, because you know what we can do here? Is we can cancel out minutes, minutes, other things we can cancel out. Kilograms, kilograms. We can circle hours because that's ultimately what we need. And lastly, well, there are two more things here that we need to cancel out, micrograms and milligrams. So we have 1,000 micrograms at the bottom is equal to one milligram. Great, because now we can cancel out milligrams at the bottom, cancel out milligrams at the top, cancel out micrograms at the top, cancel micrograms out at the bottom. So now all we're left with is a whole bunch of numbers and the two factors that we ultimately want, mLs per hour. All right, so on your calculator, type in 250 times 10 times 65 times 60 times 1. So we're multiplying all the things on the top. Don't even press the equal sign. Just go ahead and press divide by 400 divided by 1,000. And your answer is? It's like 24.4. 24.4 .4. MLs per hour. All right, so dimensional analysis, basically you're canceling out a whole bunch of things that you don't need, keeping the things you do need, and ultimately you have numbers. So you know you have the right answer because everything is canceled out other than the factors that you need. And you know if you, if you messed up and you put, let's say you put kilograms, 65 kilograms here on the bottom, well you know it's wrong because you have two, you have kilograms here at the bottom and another kilogram here at the bottom. You cannot cancel out two things un under the same line. If you cancel something, 
from one side of the line, it has to be canceled out on the opposite end of the line. All right? We'll try one more question, but let's go ahead and press pause. Or just go ahead and press it.